are basing our structural growth on two mega trends or drivers, decarbonization and digitalization. They are both very, very supportive of the business environment, despite the um, consumer related weakness in some markets. And putting all that together, um, that is then the driver for a positive outlook, uh, even for the near term, so for fiscal 23, where we are guiding for a 15 and a half billion revenue number, which would be more or less 9% uh, above the already uh, pretty high uh, revenue number we achieved in the last fiscal year, which was a 29% increase. So these drivers, uh, let's call it renewables, um, IoT, ADAS, so the autonomous driving, um, they are so strong that they really, really push us uh, in on that growth uh, journey for the uh, near future, but uh, as well for the long-term future, as you have seen, because we also upgraded our long-term capital market uh, targets. Let us look at the demand situation and supply situation, because clearly the chip industry has seen a lot of bottlenecks. So um, where do you still see scarcity in certain chip markets? And uh, when will that be resolved? Yeah, so we, we basically uh, can characterize it in the following way. It's a bifurcated market. You have very strong demand still in everything which spells power. And you know that we are uh, the number one in power. So this is strong, remains strong. On top of that, there is a, I would say, gradual improvement of the supply demand imbalance for automotive customers on power. But on top of that, there is now the renewable pull in where we get more and more demand from renewable customers, which also go after power capacity. So that's one area uh, which keeps us very busy where we have a lot of our products still in heavy allocation.